The honeysuckle grew along a chicken wire fence. There was a thick hedge around our yard by the end of summer. The heady scent of the flowering fence was a perfect complement to our little blood red roses next to the front door. Mom, you taught us to pinch the ends off the honeysuckle flower and pull out the little style inside. And we sucked out the sweet juice more satisfied than birds or bees. But that horrible day when Brother Greedman came over and told you that we were not welcomed in his church anymore. He ripped the blue out of the sky, leaving our whole yard, our very lives, at the edge of a gaping black hole. You cried. You said, run over to Janie's house. Tell her I need her. You were leaning on the flowers, holding your head. The black hole pooled around the tops of the trees and then was pulled electromagnetically over the apex of your head like an absent halo like the residual space of a halo stolen. I ran barefoot over the hot asphalt, over cracked sidewalks, over sharp rocks and smooth rocks, over the roots of trees, Finally, I ran onto the soft, protected grass of Janie's front yard, and I knocked on her door. I don't remember coming home. I came home, but I don't remember it. Mom, I'm sorry that that happened to you, to us. But now I think that if Brother Greedman had not kicked us out of his church, those snooty church ladies might still be coming over, shaming you, telling you how to keep your house and your kids and your car clean without lifting a finger to help. Not all church ladies are like that. I hated the way they made me feel so dirty and ashamed and how they hurt you. They should not treat someone who knows how to make a fence that not only smells good, but that birds and bees and children can drink from. They should not make someone like that feel bad. They should not come to our house with their swishy dresses and look down their noses at us. If they can't find something nice to say, they should say nothing at all, right, Mom? As for Brother Greedman, well, I don't know. God wants to love, not shame us. He wants us to be strong, not break our spirits. And so, I hereby declare, the sky blue again. 
I denounce self-righteous wrongdoing and I pray that I don't offer the same kind of help that hurts. And I hereby declare you, Mom, to be the queen of flowering fences from this day forward. Here, Mom, sip this flower. It's the queen's elixir. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. Long live the queen of flowering fences.